So, I've stopped gigging at the moment and I'm over in Indonesia and people think that means I'm just sitting by the pool sipping pina coladas. Which couldn't be further from the truth. Well, apart from that last video. But if you want to know what I'm up to, there's a link below in this video in the description or you can just keep watching. So, my last album was recorded in 2015. That's nine years ago. And although that makes it look like I've definitely been sleeping on the job, I really haven't. There's been a lot going on and my number one excuse has been that the timing's just not right. And it just never is. After doing a bunch of live shows back to back, week to week to week to week to month to month to it's going to be never ending. I'd finished the weekend, my voice is tired, and I just wanted to curl up into a little ball and hide away from the world. It's really nice to be coming out of that space and being creative again. So, I booked a trip, I packed my suitcase, I got on a plane, and I'm now in Bali. And the only thing on my agenda while I'm here, play the guitar write some songs, but most importantly, record those songs. I'm filming this in the exact same hotel that I traveled to 10 years ago, where I wrote, I can't be your friend, and I'm gonna add the photos in for you here. This is 2014, this is now, People say Bali's changed, I'm not so sure. But in those 10 years, I've not recorded that tune, which is crazy. So here's the deal. I've given myself six weeks, which is an uncomfortable amount of time for me to focus on songwriting, my original music, writing, sharing, producing, and creating an album over in Indonesia where I'm away from the distractions of normal life. I don't have any commitments that I need to sing for. I'm not in a loud band setting where I tend to shout even if it's not required. Well, it's never required. I have a microphone. But <laughs> these are some of the things that just have felt like I don't want to record an album after a weekend of full gigging because I know my voice is not going to be great. And maybe you've had that same thing too where your normal life actually gets in the way of what it is you truly want to do. So here's what you can expect on the channel. I will still be doing the podcast. Obviously some of what I'm up to will be shared in that like the last podcast I just did. But also, I hope that this trip, these vlogs, me recording, uh, having a, <laughs> an uncomfortable change in my focus inspires you to do whatever that might be for you. If there's something that's been on your mind that you want to pursue, perhaps me doing it <laughs> and being uncomfortable about it inspires you to do the same. I will be sharing some vlogs, some videos uh, here on YouTube, on my Instagram and for those of you that want to support me on my Buy Me A Coffee page, um, I've chosen to do that rather than um, Patreon which was a monthly thing, meaning that a bunch of you have supported me over a much longer period of time and I'm truly grateful for that and this way it means that any time in the future I've got a place where I can share posts that if you've contributed it at any stage <laughs> during my career then I can I can share stuff with you so if you want to check out any and all of those things please do but just know that I'm grateful for having you all on this journey and I I wanted to make this video with you <laughs> like it don't like it whatever just to let you know what I'm up to and, and really show my face and be a bit more creative on, the, uh, on this channel again. So, thanks for watching. 
thanks for all your comments and support. I truly appreciate you all and I, I'm grateful I get to explore and do this journey and do life and, and be able to share some of that through this lens as well. <laughs> anyway, I'm off to Ubud soon, so I have to actually pack up this gear and get out of here. <laughs>